Hello everyone, welcome to another video. As requested, I'm going to show you how to easily do a 360. This will likely be the last time I do a video on this topic, so pay close attention. Also, I should mention that this technique can be applied to any game. For the first thing, you should have enough control on transferring weight of the car. Like this, if you can't do it, you have to work on that first. Now I'm going to do a 360 and then I explain what I did, so pay attention. Okay, as you've seen, after I did the weight transfer, I did a quick turn to the left and I was holding the throttle till I got about 90 degrees angle. At that moment, you have to let go of the throttle and hold the brake button. Then as you are holding the brake, you had to keep turning to the same direction till you get about this much angle, and then you have to steer completely the opposite way. Till you get like this, now you have to let go of the brake and use the throttle. As you can see, I used the handbrake to avoid spinning anymore, but it can also make you spin more, you have to get used to it. Here is some hand cam, I had to hold the phone in a way that you guys can see the screen, so I couldn't play very well. Anyway, my sensitivity settings is also max so in some points you might feel like I'm not steering much. As you can see, sometimes I use the brake and handbrake at the same time. Well, as you know, the brake will give you more angle, but in some cases you have to use it to avoid getting close to a direction, but to avoid spinning out I use the handbrake at the same time. It's a bit hard to explain. Here is another example. As you can see, right before the jump, I operated the brake, so it helped me to spin. By the way, guys I know some of you might say, oh I have this car and I literally just turn and it easily does the 360. I have to say it's basically way easier in short cars, especially if the back of the car is heavier, but if your car is like that you have to tune it in a way that it doesn't. If you don't know how I have full tutorial of tunings in my channel so make sure you check that out. Also you should remember that spinning out every corner like a noob by luck has a lot of different with doing it on purpose, so make sure you don't end up like that. Avoid doing any random 360. Some people telling me why are you always drifting? Drive normal. Well, I have to say, to me, going straight is too easy which makes it boring. Even though drifting isn't hard in this game, but I would rather have some challenge and I don't really see any fun making a fast car going straight and do drag races all day. Just let you know this gameplay is not there to make the video longer, I have done a lot of 3.6s in different conditions, so make sure you pay attention to what I'm doing. By the way, in the last video I said if anybody have any questions they can go to my Discord server and ask someone there, well some dude said to me in the comments, oh his Discord server is in scam, no one answered my questions. Well, they're not in your service, I guess you are a very unlikely person that no one likes you, or your questions were too ridiculous, as you can see on the screen we have a lot of active members which they all are answering each other. Beside that guy if anyone like to join the Discord community, I will out the link in the description for you. Also, if you want the tune setting for this car, it's all at the very end of the video, by the way. Thanks to everyone for 18,000 subscribers. I do really appreciate that. Also, if you enjoyed the video till here, don't forget to hit that like button. See you in the next video.